What's up, y'all? My name is Justin Cooper. I'm a professional basketball skills trainer. Thank you for checking out my channel and watching this video. I travel the country running camps, clinics, and do training for players of all ages, including some of the top high school, college, and professional players in the world. If you enjoyed this video and you want to keep working on your game, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's keep working. This move is a great option for you to have in your bag when there's a defender on your hip and they're starting to cut you off in front and you're running out of time to create your advantage to score at the rim. The key for this move is to be under control and not get bumped off your spot. So as you're driving to the basket, you want to try to maintain your line of attack until you start to pick the basketball up on this first step. Once you're able to pick the basketball up, we want to take our step and try to get as close to the front of the rim as we can. By doing that, it's hopefully going to put that defender on our back and then we can reach back out to the right side and score at the rim. So again, just to walk through it, as I'm driving, I'm maintaining my line. When I pick up that right foot hits, my left foot will go in towards the middle of the paint. And then from there, if the defender is behind me, I'm reaching out to space to be able to score this. This move is really, really effective, especially when the defender guarding you is capable of blocking shots. This move is also effective off a counter when you're getting across the lane. So if I counter and my defender is now on my right side and I'm driving left, on that pickup I'll take my left foot like I'm gonna get a left hand layup and then I'll be able to use this right step to get back to this side. From there, hopefully again, the defender is now on my back and I'll be able to extend and finish. One of the keys with this finish though is, and when we get across the lane, is we have to recognize where the help side is. So if I try to get into a veer finish and that defender's already rotated over and I'm at this spot here, I might be in a tough spot to be able to get back to my left hand. But if that defender ended up behind me when I take this last step, I can then extend to the right side and score. Again, just to break this down, so when I'm driving towards the basket, I'm maintaining my line, I pick the basketball up, I stay on that line, and then I use that left step to go right towards the midline, and then I'll extend back out to the right. Maintain your line, get in, now bounce back out and score. Now again, getting across the middle, I'm driving it left. I pick up and I take that step like I'm trying to get all the way to the basket on the left side. And then I'll use that veer step to cut the defender off. And then I'll extend to either side and score. Oh. If you made it this far in the video, please leave a comment on how you can utilize the veer finish in your game.